We left off where our user create API view doesn't actually set the password for that user, right? It's saving the user model, but it's not setting the password correctly. Um, so that's something we need to do in this one. So let's go ahead and jump back into that user create serializer. And in this one, we're gonna override the create method. So basically we're just changing what the create method is. So if we just, just to define create and it's self validated data, validated data, and we just returned that validated data, um, we're probably not gonna see a whole lot. So this is gonna override it. So let's, let's try it out and I'll do ABC123 as our username. This is not really that important. Um, and we go ahead and hit post. It says it was created. Let's look into our user models. We look in users, refresh, ABC123 is not there. Right, so it's saying it's created because it, it basically it's saying it was successful. There was no errors um, that happened inside of the create API view. But the serializer itself, we changed the create method so it actually didn't create or didn't do anything. So let's go ahead and do something. Well, first off, we wanna get the fields that we're using. So username, email, and password. And we're gonna set these equal to validated data of that actual key in the dictionary that is a validated data. If you wanted to see what the validated data was, definitely print it out so you can see that it is a dictionary that's coming through. So we're gonna use this validated data for each one of these newly set variables, username, email, password. And we're also gonna reorganize these, username, email, password makes more sense. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna make a user object and it's gonna be a user class, right? So we've already imported the user class or created the user class. And we're gonna just set, first of all, username equals to username and email equals to email. Do note that this is validated data. So we can assume that this data is good data. We will work on validations next, but right now we can just assume that that's the case. So right here, this is creating that user object. So what we can do here is user object dot save, right? So that actually creates it, that saves it. So we first of all, create an instance of it. And then this dot save saves that instance into the database. Um, so there's one step in here that we skipped and that's user object dot set underscore password. And that's gonna be the password, All right? So now this will actually create our user model as needed. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this print of validated data. Um, this will actually do it just like what we've seen in our regular view. So if we look in our register view, we set that password there as well. It's, it's pretty much exactly like this um, with that exception that we just slightly changed the way it's done. So validated data would be the next thing that we actually wanna update. Uh, but let's go ahead and test this before we do the validated data. So going back into our API, I'm gonna leave it as this, do some whatever, pass, uh, whatever password in here and hit post and we got created again, password went away. And if we go into our user model, we refresh, we see ABC123 is in there, I click on it, and now that password is working, right? And again, we could have put first name and last name inside of that push and it would have actually worked. Um, okay, cool, so that's it for customizing that create function. This right here can be used on any of our model serializers. Um, it just was necessary for us to do it in our user create serializer. Great, so um, in the next one, we'll actually validate some data and then we will emulate what we did with our form, um, which was the register form where we had two email addresses. That's exactly the same thing that we wanna do in our serializer. It makes sense if we did it in originally with Django, we also wanna do it with our API. All right, so if you have any questions here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.